and just honestly vibrating. My she has me lay down. And so some of it is, uh, so for probably the first 20, she was like, be off, be okay. right now because it's my first official day back at work after the holidays and I am super duper excited um yeah but wait I haven't even really introduced the vlog hi welcome to the vlog um happy new year if you're new here hi welcome my name is Laura um but yeah so this is sort of gonna be I guess like a maybe like a week in my life um, sort of vlog. I guess I am starting. I guess technically I did start last night. But yeah, I'm just getting ready right now. Um, and I'm having my coffee. Yes, I have my coffee in the bathroom. Or else am I gonna have it? I do my makeup in my bathroom and I want to drink coffee as I get ready, so. But, yeah, I'm just doing my makeup and yeah i'm super duper excited to be going back into work i mean i love my job so it just makes it easy to get up and be raring to go um i don't expect it to be like a super busy week at work but it's probably going to be a lot of like catching up probably not going to be lots of emails to respond to just because most people did close up shop like most of our excuse me most of the people we work with they have closed down for the holidays and stuff so i think i really like this it's different from coming back from vacation just because you know when you go on vacation you're really the only one that's taking a break so so i'm really excited i'm super excited for this year at work um this is like my second year I mean, my second year technically started last October, but yeah, like my second year into the job, and I'm just stoked. Like, I, I just feel like there's so much that I can do. I have so much more to learn, and I am looking forward to that. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to kind of show my face a little bit. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I just thought that I would come here and introduce the vlog. I'm going to go finish up my makeup. Um, I have like about 10 more minutes, so I still have quite a bit of time. I'm almost done here. But yeah, I hope y'all are doing well and having a great start to the new year. And I'll see you in the next clip.
hello. So this week I feel like I could have done like a better job in terms of vlogging. <laughs> I think the last time I <clears throat> picked up the camera was a couple days ago when I was setting up my standing desk, which by the way, y'all, I am absolutely loving. I got this thing off of Amazon and it was around turning like in $80. It was on sale, but even regular price price it was just like 300 and something dollars which i feel like is pretty affordable compared to um other standing desks on the market there i think really the average price is like at least close to 400 dollars so i'm really really <clears throat> excuse me so i'm really really thrilled with this desk i've been enjoying it i'm working from home today and i'm just like um just about to get into work but i thought i'd come on here um yeah i'm so excited it's just there's just something about revamping like one's office space and just like this space that just makes me excited to just want to sit down or stand and do some work um but yes yeah, so right now i'm just getting ready to start work for the day i just have a few more minutes left before i need to be clocked on but i've got myself my coffee here i've got two shots of espresso because I didn't really, I thought I didn't sleep that well. I slept kind of okay, but it took me quite a while to fall asleep. I think I was in bed around like 10, but I probably didn't really fall asleep until maybe midnight. And I was like up at six. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling like I need to pick me up this morning. So two shots of espresso it is. I've really been loving that espresso machine. Um, I still haven't really figured out how to just get it to do a shot and then stop because right now it just does it appears like it does a shot and like a lot of crema so a shot of espresso crema and i think it just kind of filters down to like water which is not the worst it just means i have to keep an eye on it and just turn it off as soon as i get my shot but um yeah and i also have myself a smoothie here it's like a pink smoothie and it's pink because i added in some greek yogurt as well as that's the secret but yeah so today um i don't have quite a lot going on but i do have something exciting um i booked in to get eyelash extensions um later today this is gonna be like my first time in probably exactly two years because the last time i had a eyelash extensions was in 2020 at the beginning of 2020 when i just kind of decided that i wanted to stop but yeah i'm super excited um yeah i think it's just one of those things that i'm starting to realize i think i talked about this in a video somewhere about just kind of realizing what makes me feel confident i know not that i'm not confident without extensions and doing nails and having my hair done it just adds a little bit more oomph i guess i'm just really starting to realize and just step into the truth of part of who I am which is the fact that I'm a girly girl I like pretty things I like getting my nails done I like having my brows nice and waxed I like doing my hair nice and lovely I, I like you know things that will make me feel more feminine and I think that just because that might just be because um I feel like I need like I don't feel like my personality is very feminine i don't know what that means like i'm not as a quiet soft-spoken person not that there's anything good or bad about that but it's just i just feel this sort of pull towards like a more feminine energy and if now don't get me wrong i know feminine energy does not have to be does not necessarily correlate with like outward appearance but for me that pull towards just being a little more I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it is what I'm trying to say. But I just, I've just been feeling this pull towards just expressing myself that way, um, in the quote-unquote feminine way, and that could be getting my nails done, doing my hair, um, and now I guess getting my eyelash extension. You know what? I, I feel like I'm trying to justify and over rationalize why I'm doing this, but the point is, I'm doing this because I feel like doing it, and I'm excited for it. So I'm going to have that done. Um, my appointment is, is after 4, it's at 4.30 today. I don't know if I'll be able to film there. I get really awkward filming like me doing stuff, like me getting my nails done, like services being done, right, to me. So I probably won't film it, but I'll definitely film like the end result. All right, 
But for now, I'm just going to keep it pushing and put on my glasses because y'all know I cannot see without my glasses, but I don't know how to prevent the glare. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for now. And I will see you later. It's just a little bit after 7 p.m. and I've got my lashes done. So I did the, these are the 2D, 2D, 3D light volume lashes. And I went to this place downtown. I think it's on 8th Avenue. It's called Lashes by T, T, T like as in T, the drink. Um, that's what it's called. And yeah, so this was, this was pretty good in my very humble opinion. It's like a ringing noise, but anyway. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. I like the volume and the length. I went a little bit longer and that shape or whatever for my eyes, she did like, you could do like the doll eyes or like the cat eyes. I went with the doll eyes instead. So I think it looks really good. I'm super duper excited to have this again. But yeah, so I'm home now. I got a and w for dinner and I also have some wine, so. It's Friday night, I'm just going to chill at home by myself, watch, find a movie to watch on Netflix and just really take it easy. Um, but that is about it for now. I will see y'all probably tomorrow. Good morning. Hi, it is, why did, why am I pausing? It is Saturday morning. It's just a little bit after 8.30 a.m. and I have made myself a, cup of coffee actually a latte i'm really really enjoying my new espresso machine it's mm. but yeah anyway right now i am just kind of killing some time because i've got a chiropractor's appointment at 9 30 um so i'm going to probably leave around like just shortly after 9 a.m and after that i have a nail appointment because i need to get my nails done well, duh, that's why I have my nail appointment. But um, just like a couple of days after I had my nails done, which was December, I want to say 21st or 22nd. Like, I think it was maybe Christmas Eve. I was, my mom and I went visiting our family friends and we were like walking up to like their main front door and I slipped on like a patch of ice and like really slipped like full on banana split you know bum on the ground leg in the air kind of and um I sort of caught myself with like my wrist and my the bed of my palm is that what you call it and yeah and then anyway the most tragic part of the all of that was that I chipped my fresh manicure so I don't know if you can tell but like right there it's obviously gotten worse as time has gone on but you know I chipped that quite a bit ago and yeah so that has been bothering me but I'm the kind of person that if something goes wrong with my manicure I hate like ratty looking manicure I just I'm obsessive about like wanting to fix it but um, for some reason, I've just kind of like, maybe because it's kind of like out of sight and I kind of play with it a little bit. Point is, I have a manicure appointment after my chiropractor's appointment. And then after that, I meet up with a friend for a coffee. So this person I've known since like undergrad, so like several years ago. But like I knew her as like a friend of a friend. And then we follow each other on Instagram and we comment on each other's stuff and we just kind of like make small talk. And I was just like, you know what, girl, we both live in the same city. We've kind of known each other sort of for a while now. Do you want to go, do you want to meet up for coffee? And I'm like, yeah, girl. She's like, yeah, she's into it. I'm like, great. I love this. Let's do it. So I'm really excited to just kind of meet up and uh, chat and um, see how things go. I'm really 
guess this year I'm trying to live my live my theme of putting myself out there because that's not something I would normally really do but honestly I think it's just kind of nice to have you know make be able to make friends in the city and the older I get we know the older we get it's much more difficult to make friends but anyway I'm rambling now I am going to just spend some time editing a video that I want to go live tomorrow I will head out for all my appointments <laughs> much later in the day it's almost 6 p.m um and yeah i've been obviously i've been back home for quite a while i really just rested for a bit i did some reading i finished prepping and uploading finished editing and prepping a video uh, to be uploaded which should be live right now so yeah but these are my nails though i decided to go with like a blue sparkly a subtle sparkle though it's not like in your face sparkly and again i do uh just shellac on my natural nails um i really didn't record any of my outings outings today coffee with my friend was really really nice we got to sit chat catch up so that was really fun and um we went to this cafe in eau claire it's called al forno cafe i didn't know that <laughs> obviously if i've never been there i didn't know about it but it's kind of like uh it's got it's like a cafe like restaurant vibe it's really nice so they have coffee obviously and but they also have like pastries and like actual like food food so um, there were people that were there for brunch and they had like a lunch menu So it was pretty good. So it's a really nice spot that I feel like I'll be checking out again But I think I'm going to end the video here um, I don't have much else planned. I'm just gonna have a relaxing evening. I'm gonna be hopping on the phone to talk to my mom in a little bit um, and Tomorrow I'm going to start um, Another video so I, I figured like here is a good stopping place but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video and I hope y'all are having a great start to the new year. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have to share for now. Thank y'all so much for watching the video, for staying tuned, for being here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But that is pretty much everything. Why am I talking like that? That's pretty much everything that I have to share for now. And I'll see you all next time in another video. Bye.